this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to help you plug in these pesky front panel connections and your PC case. So these specifically are the cables that come bundled with your PC case and allow you to do things like turning it on. Now sometimes you'll find they're quite tricky because they're individual cables like this and the power reset switch, hard disk drive, LEDs and other things and it may look a bit intimidating. So I'm going to talk through the various different bits you need to know about this and the logic of plugging them in and what to do if you've got a different one. So you can see there's a different looking one here. It's going to vary from case to case. And sometimes you'll find it in one single connection like this, marked F panel. And you usually find the F panel in the bottom right of the motherboard. And you'll see that it has HDD LED, power LED, power switch, reset buttons, all sort of put into one connector. Now in this case, it's really easy because there are multiple pins, but you'll notice that one of the pins is missing and that same pin is also missing on the cable. So it's actually impossible to plug it in the wrong way around. So you basically just slip that in there nice and straightforward. Now it is worth noting that this may vary on some motherboards and some cases. On some PC cases, you'll find that instead of one connector, you have loads of little ones, which can make life a little bit more intimidating. They look like this. So they're split out into different things. You'll see HDD, LED, power LED, reset switch and power switch. Obviously power switch is your power button. Reset switch resets the PC and more. Now if you look at the motherboard itself you'll see the markings on there for plus and minus so that's plus point and the minus point of where these cables go. On the cable itself hopefully you'll see a plus and minus sign on each of them as well and that should make it logical and where things plug in. If you don't then you will also notice that if you look at the back of them there's a little pointy arrow on there. That arrow represents the plus side of this cable so all you've got to do is line that up with the positive markings on the motherboard. Now if you don't see these markings on the motherboard refer to the motherboard manual because that will show you where things plug in and the logic of it. If we can see here if we take this cable and we plug it in at the bottom left it's lining up with that plus sign with the plus sign on the motherboard so the plus sign on the cable plus sign on the motherboard that's lining up the positive and negative with those. You can see the markings on either and that will ensure that we've got it the right way around. Now obviously if you do this the wrong way around these things won't function properly. So if you do it with the reset switch or power switch for example you might find your PC doesn't turn on. So if your PC is not turning on it could be something that simple. But you can just look out for those markings on each of these cables and they are fiddly. They definitely are fiddly. You can buy adapters that you can put these into an adapter and then plug it into the motherboard which can make life easier. But if you've got a case where you have to sort of force these in then this can be a little bit more tricky because you've got to separate them out and obviously trying to work out where they go can be a bit more difficult but the labeling can really help and especially that little arrow so watch out for that little arrow on the back if you're struggling to work out which goes where because that arrow represents the plus sign as i said so that's a positive connection so the power leds those and the hard disk drive leds those obviously give you lights representing what's working on the pc and the power switch and reset switch are the more important ones because they're obviously power the buttons to turn it on and to restart your PC if you need to. So just make sure those are plugged in at a minimum and that will then sort that out. Hopefully you found this brief guide useful. That was obviously just those connections. I've done a much more in-depth guide on all the other connections you need to plug in to get your PC working. But this is the trickiest so I figured it was worth just giving it a small highlight. If you found it useful hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up and check out the links in the description to more videos that you might find helpful. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos, you might well find them interesting or useful, and most importantly, have a great life.